สวัสดีครับ and good afternoon once again today is Friday the 23rd of July 2021 and this is the English language summary of the daily press briefing here at the CCSA so first thank you to Dr. a p i s a m a i for the Thai version we also had um, the uh, doctor the official from the uh, uh, CDC the communicable disease uh, department of the MOPH as well giving us some uh, updates on the situation as well as the unintended uh, effects of the vaccination. So I'd like to start off first with the vaccination progress, updating on the numbers that we have uh, administered since the start of the national vaccine drive. Uh, yesterday, we administered 304,243 doses of vaccine. And you can see the uh, breakdown of the vaccination uh, yesterday. into first doses and second doses. The Public Health Ministry is closely coordinating with the six COVID-19 vaccine importers as well to finalize procurement plans for next year to better cope with the unexpected mutations. And the CDC Director General said that the vaccine, National Vaccine Committee has resolved to procure a total of 120 million doses of vaccines next year comprising mRNA type, viral vector, and inactivated vaccines. The Director General of the CDC also indicated that the Ministry of Public Health will also discuss procuring other types of vaccines, including protein-based and subunit vaccines. Now, apart from vaccines, as you may have heard in the news, Prime Minister p r a y u t j a n a c h a had instructed uh, authorities to set up a committee to study the use of f a t a l i t o n a green shiretta, extracts to treat COVID-19 patients with mild symptoms, and to draft up a comprehensive plan for the use of this Thai traditional herbal medicine, with a view to guarding against the spread of COVID-19. Now, for the numbers that we have for today, the general situation for today, we have new confirmed case standing at 14,000. 575. Of this number, 1,072 are inmates in prisons. Now we have the active cases uh, currently being treated at 143,744. While new recoveries recorded today, new recoveries recorded today is 7,775. New fatalities standing at 114, making the cumulative fatalities. 3,811. The fatality rate in Thailand remains at 0.85%. Now with this situation of high numbers each day that we have seen for uh, a matter of weeks now, the infection rate of course obviously in Bangkok continues to rise being the center point of this. The Bangkok Metropolitan Administration or uh, BMA had issued on Wednesday uh, another announcement on the temporary closure of premises or businesses that have high risk of spreading COVID-19 as a precaution. These include all types of sports venues, sports fields, public parks, trade fair centers, convention centers, exhibit halls, learning centers, science parks, uh, galleries, public and private libraries, museums and historical sites, early childhood development centers and preschool child development centers, beauty salons and barber shops, tattoo parlors and piercing shops, manicure and pedicure shops, swimming pools for sports and marine activities, public pools and similar businesses, And this order is in effect from the 23rd of July to the 2nd of August 2021, subject to further extension. Now, in addition to the suspension of flight services, domestic flight services for the dark red zones, Thailand state-run transport company has also suspended bus services on the northern northeastern, eastern, and southern routes, uh, except parcel deliveries until the 2nd of August as well. And those who bought uh, tickets in advance for trips can seek refunds or postpone their trips and more information on 
their website. And you have an infographic there, courtesy of the Public Relations Department. Now, uh, for vaccination for foreign nationals that we have been um, announcing and keeping you up to date, I'd like to start off a recap first of the one in Bangsu Grand Station in Bangkok because there had been some slight uh, confusion uh, regarding the arrangement. So two days ago, uh, we, when we talked about this, we were talking about that uh, uh, foreign nationals who are 60 plus uh, can register uh, for vaccination and the appointment date would be in a, a matter of days only. And that has been going on uh, since it uh, opened and uh, foreign nationals age 60 plus had been uh, receiving these appointments and uh, arriving at Bangsu Grand Station for such appointment. Also for foreign nationals who are 75 year old and over who have never received their COVID vaccination they can just walk in to Bang Bangsu Grand Station in Bangkok. We're giving priority to this age group to receive vaccination at the Bangsu Grand Station. And this is in line with our vaccine uh, rollout priorities to inoculate those in the high risk group first. And the 60 plus and 75 plus year old group for foreign nationals, this is for those who currently reside in Bangkok and the surrounding provinces. So what happened was that there was some misunderstanding that there were foreign nationals younger than 60 year old uh, turning up to walk in at Bangsu to receive vaccination. So please mind the details that we have to avoid overcrowding, to avoid crowding and further risk of transmission. We kindly ask that all foreign nationals of other age groups uh, lower than 60 year old plus 60 plus to not show up at Bangsu Grand Station without prior appointments to, for the time being. So 60 plus appointment first, 75 plus you can walk in at Bangsu. If you're under 60, uh, this is not a scheme for you yet. For foreign nationals aged uh, 60 to 74 in uh, Bangkok, Samut Prakan, Samut Sakon, Patum Thani, Nontaburi and Nakhon Patom who've never received the vaccination, uh, so this uh, scheme is for you to register for vaccination at the Bangsi Grand Station. This is a Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Public Health uh, collaboration, the online platform that we had announced as per the uh, P, uh, QR code, which I think uh, we can show that on screen as well. Now, for the other uh, groups, we have, of course, uh, various vaccination uh, options. Now, if you recall, we had the Thailand uh, intervac.com, wherein that uh, portal will lead to the pre-registration websites of various private hospitals. So it's linked to the Thailand intervac.com portal that had been announced uh, already. <clears throat> so just a reminder to uh, all foreign nationals of all age groups residing outside uh, Bangkok, and the surrounding areas. Uh, the registration for vaccination uh, with hospitals where you have prior medical records at the earliest convenience. That's very important. For thailandintervac.com, the pre-registration uh, is open to foreign nationals in the following category, 60 years and above, and people uh, with uh, the seven underlying diseases. Severe chronic respiratory disease, coronary artery disease, chronic kidney disease, cerebrovascular disease, cancer patients receiving chemotherapy, diabetes and obesity, um, as well as pregnant women uh, in the gestational age, which is 12 weeks or above, who have a medical certificate from the hospital confirming that vaccination is allowed. So for these groups, you can go to thailandintervac.com and you'll be led to the designated private hospitals that, that, that are linked uh, with thailandintervac.com. Uh, these hospitals current avail currently available for pre-registration uh, to date now include Samitivet Hospital in Bangkok, as well as BNH uh, Hospital in, in Bangkok. Now all these are part of Thailand's national efforts, continuous efforts to ensure that all foreign nationals on Thai soil, living on Thai soil, will be given access to vaccines in accordance with our national vaccine campaign. 
So now I'd like to move to the Andaman uh, sandbox. The Tourism Authority of Thailand, or TAT, TAT, had revealed that Panga and Kuri provinces are preparing to welcome tourists in the Andaman sandbox scheme, which is scheduled to launch on the 1st of August 2021. If you recall, this follows suit, follows suit from Phuket and Samui. The proposal for this sandbox scheme was submitted to the Center for Economic Situation Administration for further consideration last Wednesday. And if the scheme goes according to plan, the Panga and Krabi provinces, uh, which lie along the Andaman Sea coastline, will be the next to reopen to foreign tourists uh, following Phuket and Samui. And the TAT governor further revealed that once the Andaman sandbox is approved, the TAT will ask the cabinet to approve similar schemes in the future for provinces and cities and areas such as Chiang Mai, Pattaya, Buri Ram, uh, Petburi, uh, Pajuop, Kirikan, among others, in time for an opening in the month of October. But of course, this will be assessed according to the uh, situation at hand at that moment as well. We're keeping tab with all the information, all the updates. Of course, we know that we have a very high uh, daily number these days in uh, Bangkok and the vicinity in, in particular. But in other provinces, the situation might be different. And if it, the control and the enforcement of inbound uh, passengers and tourists and if the locals are vaccinated to a very high percentage, that would be some of the considerations in reopening some of these other provinces uh, for bubble kind of uh, controlled uh, visits for tourists by the month of October. So rest assured that uh, all of the information that we analyze will be uh, put in, uh, uh, in good use and for the consideration of these uh, opening of the various provinces. So today I'd like to show you some infographics on the procedures for uh, home self-quarantine as provided by the Ministry of Public Health. So these useful infographics also made available in the uh, language, languages of our neighboring countries uh, in uh, Burmese, Lao, and Cambodian languages. If you have to self-quarantine at home, uh, in the case that you have been found positive and you are, you are awaiting for a hospital uh, bed or treatment from a medical facility, you are advised to do the following according to the infographic uh, on screen. Firstly, uh, isolate yourself from others. Secondly, frequently wash hands for at least 20 seconds at a time. Thirdly, wear masks and stay one to two meters away from others. Fourth, uh, separate use separate personal items such as towels, drinking glasses, and utensils. Fifth, eat uh, food, separate uh, utensils from others. Uh, sixth, uh, when coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth and nose with tissue. Seven, do not go to public places, obviously. Eight, clean accommodation belongings, uh, belongings within the accommodation uh, with uh, detergent uh, from time to time. And nine, avoid staying close to elder the elderly or people with any chronic disease. Uh, Ten, discard masks with the method fold, roll, put in the bag, and wash your hands. For migrant workers from Myanmar, uh, Laos, uh, PDR, and Cambodia, the COVID-19 hotline is 1422, as appeared just now on the infographics. So this is what I have for you today. I hope you have a very uh, healthy uh, weekend ahead. Uh, the numbers are quite high. We are on it. It is very worrisome, but our team, our staff, all of the rapid uh, missions, the rapid uh, uh, groups, mobile groups, all of the doctors, medical personnel, we are at hand 24-7. Uh, Dr. Apisamai also mentioned about the upgrading of the various field hospitals as well, that some field hospitals who had, that had been receiving uh, uh, ye yellow patients, meaning those with uh, not severe symptoms, might be upgraded to be able to handle uh, patients in the uh, red category, meaning patients in the severe with severe symptoms. So this is all work that is ongoing. We hope for 
and we hope and we pray that uh, the situation will get better and we thank you for your support and, and confidence. So let's all work together and let's fight, continue to fight uh, COVID. So thank you very much. I hope you have a uh, very uh, pleasant uh, Friday and then weekend ahead and we'll see you again next week. Thank you.